so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Wait, so they're in the same... They have the dorm in the same building. Just on a different floor? Okay. Supermax, in case you still need a Nathan's room number, it's 111. Uh, Katie, awesome, thank you. Uh, always please to be careful, promise. Of course, I keep posted. I know. No. Oh, he brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Ah, here is this room. This can only be Nathan's room. Yep. Okay, let's enter. Oh, shit. Okay, let's now have a I look need around. To find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. Oh, Joyce. Max, I know that David is not. Max, I know David's not here. I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother defending or explain. I hope you would get her back on the right track but it looks like she doesn't get it looks like she's getting stuck again you could be a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad but she can't keep blaming david i'm sorry joyce even if even i got into shit nine against but i'm trying to be a good influence of chloe i know max i forget you're still teenage adults let's have a look see around that's so cute and ironic i can't believe nathan still has it around Best son of the world. This moment, so for David Prescott, is officially best son of the world. 2006. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. The evil. He has expensive I cameras. I Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescotts rule. I don't want to leave. I really hope they were all consenting models. Yeah. That is so Chloe. Yeah, so when you talk, I'm going to tell everybody what you did. Are you going to pay, motherfucker? Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Ugh. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Yeah. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Mm. That's a poster. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Okay, there's definitely a door map around here. Is that picture of Max? Oh man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. Well, he must be in love with you, Max. Nathan likes his tortured subjects 
way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Mm. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. He stretches for I use. From... Is it just aim, aim, point and shoot? Aim, point and shoot. That's basically I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> Let's look at the computer. Nathan is way into this party. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know sign. what you're wearing to the watch next to the watch this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious pa patchy favors. Pat, pat. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get the wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have a end of the time world theme, then let's do the fucking point of it, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I noticed it's been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk, uh, to talk if you need to. Just make an appointment anytime your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after this book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need to calm and quiet while Pan and Stage is being developed, and I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I guide you into the room, into this room step by step, as, you, as, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to the to our destiny, but you think me... You thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shit whole town is going to get an anemone an <laughs> along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. Christine Prescott. And far away. To do, Bem from Basirio, little brother. It's been a long time since I've heard from you, and please let me know what you're going on in your exciting school lit. School lit school it school lit, life at Blackwell. I bring all of my co-workers in the peace corps that my talented bro Nate got full of scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world even though I can't always check my mail on phone please 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 send me some new photos of campus so I can live basically through your lens I'm used to in your pictures and yes my mother my, yes mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him you know I love Dad, Nate, but all, but also in the jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and when, and then only way to win against one is to fight back. Not let him change you into what into just one of the family legacy. End the lecture. You're at school, so I just want to make sure you feel at home. That to the mangrove sending you out to good thoughts. Better write back or have a Jaguar ship to you dorm. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. 100, 100 pills, $250. Mm. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the rest recent accusations. Your name and record sparks for itself, speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their the own name at Blackwell. I know your father was, was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, as always, I'm going to be able to talk. Are we down here? Looks like we are. Uh, wait. Did I find anything of the reason why I'm here? I don't know, to be honest. Uh, did I find what I needed? Hi, Chloe. Max, what are you doing? Hurry up! Oh, I guess I did not find what I need needed then. Okay. Okay, what am I looking for? 
Um. Oh, scratch marks. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Scratch marks? I haven't did hiccups right now. Let's move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Let's get out of here. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Oh, shit. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Ow. <gasps> you are so fucking dead. Yeah. Get off me, bro. <sighs> <sighs> I'm staying out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Jesus Christ! Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey! Come on. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good, but scary. What would happen Shit, otherwise? I, I want to see. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You! And you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Uh, not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. 
He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like but I we said, we don't have any money. Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. But we don't have any money. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hate you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Okay, um... Looks like a abandoned car. Looks very rusty and old. Ow. I'm so now we have thing. to see Frank all the way out here. There we go, I'm thinking that. A flyer. There might not be be any pan estates by Saturday. Yeah. If the bloody thing is gonna happen. Oh god, that's creepy. This is where my nightmare started. There's the lighthouse. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? I did Google. Apparently, whales do not come up to the beach to die. Apparently. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Oh, yeah. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. I don't know anyone would swim in this time of year either because it's, it's not summer. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Okay, let's knock on the door. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. 
So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! There were no bullets in the gun. We were safe, tough guy. There is something wrong with you, girly. You pulled the trigger because you wanted to show me how safe I was? I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash. And it's time to take you out. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! <laughs> Pompidou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Wow. That gun is something is wrong with it. It's, it's not looking oh no. complete. Chloe. I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Yeah. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Has Chloe had a clue now? Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. <sighs> Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or... 
whatever in the RV until we're done talking. After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. God, I hate you Blackwell shits. You act like you own this town, like I'm your puppet. Nobody owns me. You understand that? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> okay, that did not work. Shit. Uh... Listen, Chloe. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally, I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come along. Right, I'm gonna let you guys skip this whole cutscene again. Okay, no fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well... Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but... Yeah. There's no time for that. Yeah, yeah. Come this on, same Frank, outcome. this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here. What, you, you come in... To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera, I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Chloe and I gave your doggy a bone when we... So you're the ones who let him out? You broke in here and let my dog God out? God damn what it. What the fuck? Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here, and I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Set the fuck back now! <laughs> Pompidou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! God damn it. I'll be right back. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I w Sh Okay, what would it be the... Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. <laughs> That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. 
You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Okay, that turned out good. So I guess it's back to the mission board? That was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Okay, back to the mission board, I guess. Uh, yeah. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. We're going to do that, but that is in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out Green Time Podcast. It's on Spotify and yeah, where you can find podcasts at. And on YouTube, of course. But, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.